Hello everyone, Ori here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video and today I got Ast Roma for you uh, one of the most uh, glorious Italian teams out there not in the best uh, football days or in their uh, FIFA days but uh, still a very exciting and a young team to use and uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up the, the best formation and to how to exactly play uh, with, uh, with Roma which uh, for me is the best, uh, I mean, the best way, uh, in my opinion, uh, to play uh, with this team. Uh, so, uh, I've used a lot of formations uh, regarding this team, but uh, the one that I like the most is the 4-3-2-1, uh, the narrow variation. I like this formation because Roma doesn't have a proper cam, uh, which, uh, when I mean a proper, proper cam, I mean a player who can score goals, be agile, uh, give those beautiful assists. And that's why uh, I decided to go with uh, these three players up front and to rely a lot on them and to build a strong midfield. But uh, just stick to the video and uh, uh, we're gonna see uh, exactly how I'm gonna uh, set up uh, this team. So in goal uh, is going to be Lopez, uh, no better option uh, than uh, him there. Uh, moving on to the left back, uh, you've got different options uh, in the, this team about regarding left back or right back, but uh, in the left back position, uh, I'm gonna stick uh, with Kolarov. Uh, he's big, strong, he, he's not the fastest, but uh, he's a great, great, great uh, all around player and that's why I'm gonna play uh, with him there. Moving up to the center back position, uh, Juan Jesus is gonna play alongside with uh, Smalling. Now uh, the other players, I mean Fazio and the other center back just too, 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 too slow, uh, not really usable uh, in FIFA. Uh, moving up to the right back, still a lot of options here, but uh, I'm gonna use him, I'm glad that uh, he's back. Uh, Bruno Perez, you may know him uh, from previous FIFAs, uh, he was a beast. Uh, I, I hope that they soon gonna update his face. Uh, just uh, incredible, great stat, he's so speedy and that uh, he's gonna be uh, playing in that uh, uh, right back position. Moving up to the midfield, uh, very important here because we have to uh, set up uh, players uh, exactly um, how they would perform uh, at their best. We're gonna uh, leave Pellegrini at the uh, CM position uh, in the center and we're gonna play Zagnolo as the left uh, CM and I'm gonna play Henrik Mkhitaryan as the right uh, CM and uh, this trio is completed. Uh, for me, the best uh, midfield trio that uh, you can possibly play uh, in uh, this uh, uh, Roma uh, team. There are a lot of uh, players uh, like uh, Pastore or uh, Diavara, but not really usable. Uh, I don't know what happened to Pastore to be honest, but uh, he's downgraded uh, so, so, so much. Uh, just. Uh, uh, just a downfall of uh, career. Uh, moving up to the to the strikers, we're gonna play Justin Clivert, Genki Sunde, and uh, Adin Dzeko uh, up front. We're gonna rely too much on them. And uh, Zaniola and Mkhitaryan, uh, most of the time, gonna make just beautiful runs, and uh, they're gonna help a lot uh, in the offense too. Moving up to the tactics is going to be balanced uh, with is going to be five a uh, deep three and uh, balance with uh, with five and players in the box uh, three corners and free kicks uh, we're gonna leave at two at uh, the rolls uh, Kolarov and Pellegrini just gonna take care of everything. Moving up to the instructions very important getting behind and stay forward for uh, both. Uh, for all of the strikers up front, stay back while attacking and cover center uh, for Pellegrini. Just uh, leave Mkhitaryan and Zagnolo at uh, their default and uh, stay back while attacking uh, for both of our full flag. As we know, if uh, we just leave them at default, they're gonna make stupid runs forward and uh, it's just not good. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go into a game now and uh, we're gonna try Roma out. Let's go. So my opponent uh, has Atletico Bilbao and uh, uh, we're gonna start the game in strange kids to be honest but uh, he's gonna get the first goal here uh, he got me there I uh, was a bit just uh, <laughs> sleepy to say but uh, I'm gonna bounce back a uh, Pellegrini to Jacko. I mean Jacko may not seem the fastest but he is holding perfectly there I mean for a striker who has like 60 or 64 pace 
he just did incredible, giving the pass to him there and uh, scoring the, the beautiful goal. Mkhitaryan here, as, uh, uh, as I told you, he's gonna get involved a lot, he's gonna make those beautiful runs uh, in that straight line and uh, he will score goals. Edin Dzeko here again with uh, his weak foot, he's got a 5 star weak foot so it's not a problem for him and uh, he's gonna score a ton amount of goals for you. Again here Edin Dzeko, beautiful finesse shot there, he's gonna finish 4-1 for me but uh, I'm not done yet, Edin Dzeko again uh, stealing that ball, uh, Henrik Mkhitaryan, he's gonna get a goal too. And I mean everybody just getting involved, uh, getting involved. Everybody just uh, scoring goals. So Pellegrini winning the ball there uh, to Jacko, and uh, Jacko is just gonna score the, uh, the sixth goal, and uh, he's uh, gonna complete his hat trick. Uh, so uh, this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is for me how you can best play uh, with S Roma, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you in another FIFA 20 video.